Hey, hello, welcome again to our another episode. Um, I have a little, I, I guess this should be easy to uh, sum, but uh, to all of you out there who have this uh, vehicle, I have something interesting to show you. Uh, let me just flip my camera, there you go. I got a 2012 Jeep Liberty and I have a code for EVAP P0456 forget about the uh, transmission but if, in case you're asking P0944 is uh, when your transmission fluid is leaking uh, the moment that this vehicle senses that uh, there's a lack of fluid and it's slipping that code will pop out so uh, that's gonna be a different different diagnosis but evap system small leak let me uh, focus a little bit p0456 I have set this up for smoke tests as you can see the smoke coming out from there but let me show you how I set this up so this is my smoke test machine connected and uh, let me grab some light alright so okay here this is the purge like a purge control valve from the engine to the evap canister so this is the one connected to the vacuum of the engine uh, I would say right there this guy right here all right let me change my light to a uh, pointy there you go so that guy right there connected to here so I check this hose it's actually this hose connected right there right here I checked that hose that hose is good there's no cracks there's no leaks now my next test is this hose which is actually connected under here right there see that see that port so that connects from here all the way down to the charcoal canister but smoke testing this and uh, let me show you what I found right there a little pinhole leaking so most of the time let me explain it most of the time the reason for this evap leak uh, either it's a small or large leak forgive the noise more often that just wait for this all right more often that the cause of the leak here is our evap canister right there under the uh, fender near that spare tire more often that the cause of this P0456 is this guy that white piece right there we call them ESIM right there I hope it focus yep right there uh, the way they designed this is there's like a float inside that uh, uh, measures you know it's a float so put your imagination as simple as that uh, will determine we either it's a large it's a large leak or a small leak and uh, that's that's more often that that's the one is that's the one that's causing the problem because it's sometimes it's sticking inside you know internal failure but it's really good to have 
a smoke test machine because it confirms your repair uh, and your diagnosis. So all of you out there who drives this year model Jeep, yes, those hose, they do break and they do crack. So keep an eye on them. All right. I hope this helps you. And uh, thank you for uh, subscribing and liking the videos. All my subscribers, uh, please uh, like this one and uh, share it as well. All right. Till next time. Bye.